Okay, the most down I'm going to do player analysis on Alex Scott, uh, Fantasy FC hero. This is, she is a bloody legend, by the way. I remember watching her back in the day with England women's, and yeah, she was quite good. So, let's jump into this player analysis then. So, the first thing we're going to do for a fantasy fut player analysis is we're just going to have a look um, and see whether we think that she's going to get upgraded. Because, um, obviously... The fantasy farts do get upgraded, and I believe that she'll probably get upgraded by one because Arsenal women are quite good. But it's very hard for a club to score 11 goals in four games. Um, maybe it's Arsenal men because they're flying at the moment, but not Arsenal women. All right, so let's actually have a look at what um, the player is like then. So she's five foot four, which is immediately a massive L. Uh, high medium, yeah, it's not great either. Three star, four stars, okay. Right footed and then controlled explosive. So the five star, four star, and the high medium work rate is not great. Let's have a look at the player details. Um, she's going to be nice and easy to link to, but obviously, like, she's going to get free kim anyways. So she'll be a nice linker for your other players. Now let's have a look at the attribute details, the stats. This is the stuff that matters. 90 pace there, brilliant stuff. 74 shooting is okay. I mean, she's got very low finishing, but it's okay. Like, obviously, it doesn't matter too much. The passing's brilliant there. The vision's a little bit low, but the passing is brilliant. Uh, the dribbling is amazing there as well. That's actually very nice dribbling for a fullback. Defending's brilliant. Nothing wrong with that. We don't even have to comment on that. And the same with physical there. It's, it's all really good. It's all in shape. The stats are brilliant. The only thing that's let her down so far is her height. Obviously, she can't do anything about that. But, like, it is going to be a bit of an issue. Um... But yeah, incisive pass, whipped pass, anticipate, rapid, and aerial are our normal play styles. And then we've got relentless plus, which is very nice, and jockey plus, which is also very, very nice. So it's a very good card here, boys. Uh, there might be a few things to let out down, but uh, it's coming in at a price of around 230k, I think. So not too bad, I don't I think. Um, I reckon that is probably, oh, it's 280k. Yeah, I, do you know what, I would say that that is a fair enough price. I'd say it's probably the price that I would pay for this card on the transfer market. So it, it, it's not like, oh my god, she's really good, get her done, or oh, she's really bad, don't get her done. It's more down to the fact that, you know, if you got the team that would fit her in, or, you know, if you need a right back, then I'd get her done. But it, obviously if you don't, then it's not too hard of a miss.